Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right. Yes. Welcome, advanced students. Welcome back to the program. And uh, welcome to class number 102. And I'd like to start by talking about something that uh, a listener wrote in and asked for an explanation of. And uh, this is something that really, um, I, I believe it was an intermediate listener that asked this question, but it's something that I have seen teaching English for years, for uh, about six years now. I've seen this mistake, or I hear this mistake all the time for students of all levels. And what I'm talking about it is mistakes with four and two. So when we say pens, for example, pens are for writing. I use my pen to write. Very often, you'll say a sentence and maybe you think it sounds strange. That sounds like it may be wrong. But maybe you're not sure why. Very often, the mistake or the, the, the problem is this two and four. So maybe you're using it wrong or it sounds a little bit awkward. And you, say, and you think, well, grammatically, that's okay. And maybe, maybe this is where the error is because I hear, I hear this a lot. Basically, we say four, for example, cigarette lighters. What are cigarette lighters for? Now, notice in the question, I, we always use for. What are cigarette lighters for? Cigarette lighters. Mecheros. Cigarette lighters are for lighting cigarettes. But ask me at home, ask me what I use my cigarette lighter for. Now, again, for in the question. Hey, Kyle, what do you use your cigarette lighter for? Because I have one. I have a cigarette lighter, but, well, I use my cigarette lighter to light candles. Notice how I do not say I use my cigarette lighter for lighting. No, no. Cigarette lighters are for lighting cigarettes. I use my cigarette lighter to light candles. So when we're talking about the general existence of something, the reason it exists, we, we, we use four. It was intended for some purpose. For the, someone said, I'm going to invent a, a little thing, and, I, and people can use it to light cigarettes. But this device is for lighting cigarettes. But notice I say people use cigarette lighters to light cigarettes. People use cigarette lighters to light candles, like me, because I don't smoke. People use cigarette lighters to light many things. What do they use it for? So the use, we, we use two plus infinitive. But the general existence, we use four plus gerund. For example, I can say, estoy aquí para ayudarte. I'm here to help you. Un abrelatas para abrelatas. A can opener is for opening cans. Okay. A bookmarker is for marking books. I use my, my bookmarker to mark books. My brother uses his bookmarker to mark his books. People use bookmarkers to mark their books. What are they for? Bookmarkers are for marking books. Okay? Esta máquina está diseñada para taladrar agujeros. Hmm. This, mach this machine is designed to drill holes. It is de now, it is designed to infinitive, to drill holes. It is designed to drill holes. What's it for? Oh, it's for, esta máquina es para taladrar agujeros. This machine is for drilling holes. Te contraté para taladrar agujeros. I hired you to drill holes. Okay. Esta herramienta es para abrir cajas. This tool is for opening boxes. 
Oye, necesito algo para abrir esta caja. I need something to open this box. Well, luckily we have this tool, and this tool is for opening boxes. También puedes utilizarla para sacar clavos. You can use it. You can also use it to remove nails. Okay? A can opener is for opening cans. I use my can opener to open cans. People use can openers to open cans. Can openers are for opening cans cans. Okay? Now, let's go ahead. I, I, I hope that's clear. I hope that's clear. It, it does appear in our method. It appears in, and it is explained in the manual. Um, and we actually, we, we've seen that already. But it's something that I notice students at all levels having a bit of trouble with. So, if you make them, if you can't find your mistake, you think something seems wrong, think about that. Think about two and four, okay? Because maybe maybe that's where the problem is. Let's go back now with a review of class number 101 because we can't put this off any longer. To put off, phrasal verb, to put off means to postpone, posponer, to postpone something, to delay something. Did you put the meeting off? Yes, I put the meeting off. Now, this is a separable phrasal verb. Did you put the meeting off? Yes, I put it off. Have you ever put a vacation off? Yes, I put a vacation off two years ago. I had to do it. We were busy with a project, and we had to put our vacation off. Do you ever put things off, then forget to do them altogether? Yes, I sometimes put things off, and then forget to do them all together. I'll do it later. Putting it off. I'll do it later. And then maybe you forget to do it. Okay. So to put off, to delay, or to postpone something. The separable phrasal verb, put off. And the, and the remember, put, put, put. Yeah, today, every, every day I put off. Yesterday I put off. Lately I have put off. Okay? Now it is time to move on Still with the review, still with the review of the last class, we were looking in the last class at translation list number 29. And I'd like to go back and review this, the whole list. Okay? Because I believe we didn't get a chance to see this list. And I said, I promise we will do the whole list. So here we are, translation list 29. Translation. Yes, it is time for translation list number 29. I will read the Spanish, and I would like you to say the English out loud at home. Okay? Number one. ¿Cuántas listas nos quedan? ¿Cuántas listas nos quedan? How many lists do we have left? How many lists do we have left? Number two. Todavía nos quedan bastantes. We still have quite a few left. Es verdad. We still have quite a few left. Number three. ¿Esperas que haga todas estas listas? Do you expect me to do all these lists? Do you expect me to do all these lists? Number four. Si no, ¿para qué las he creado? Otherwise, what did I create them for? Otherwise, what did I create them for? Number five. ¿No es un hobby tuyo el hacer listas? Isn't it a hobby of yours to make lists? A hobby. Isn't it a hobby of yours to make lists? Number six. ¿Qué crees que soy? ¿Un masoquista? What do you think I am? A masochist? 
What do you think I am? A masochist? Number seven. No, pero te gusta ejercer la mente, ¿no? No, but you like to exercise your mind, don't you? No, but you like to exercise your mind, don't you? Number eight. Lo único que quiero hacer ahora es descansar. The only thing I want to do now is to rest. The only thing I want to do now is to rest. Number nine. Entonces, échate una siesta. Then take a nap. Then take a nap. Number ten. No sería mala idea. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Number eleven. Tumbate aquí mismo en el sofá. Lie down right here on the couch. On the couch. The sofa, the couch. The sofa, we can say in English also. But we usually say the couch. Lie down right here. Lie down right here on the couch. Number 12. Si empiezo a roncar, despiértame. If I start to snore, if I start to snore, wake me up. Wake me up. If I start to snore, wake me up. All right. Twelve sentences. Getting a little bit more difficult there, right? Good. Good job. I hope you did well. I'm sure you did well on that list. Let's move on and take a look at our expression of the day. Expression of the day. Yes, it is time for the expression of the day. The expression of the day today is a walk in the park. Now, is it easy to walk in a park or is it hard? It's easy. It's easy to walk in the park. So that's what the expression means, to be very easy. It's a walk in the park. Is this course a walk in the park? No, it isn't. It's not a walk in the park. It's hard work. It's difficult. This course is not a walk in the park. If you want to follow, pay close attention to the radio shows, to the television shows, to the books. This is not a walk in the park. This is not easy. For me, speaking English is a walk in the park. For you, speaking Spanish is a walk in the park. It's easy. But learning the other language is never a walk in the park. It takes a, a lot of hard work. Hard work, dedication, effort to learn a language properly. But there we have our expression of the day, a walk in the park. Okay, moving on now to class number 102, talking about the king of verbs, the verb to get, to get. In the sense of a basic, simple verb, to get is essentially conseguir, to receive or obtain. Now, receive, recibir. Receive is passive. We receive emails. We're sitting there, boop, the email arrives. I didn't do anything. It just came in. I got it. Whereas obtain, obtener, like in Spanish, to obtain is more active. You go out, you you obtain your driver's license because you, you do the test, you, you, you practice, you, you have to study, you, you obtain it. And you're very happy when you obtain that license or or a, or a or a title or a diploma you obtain it you 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 earn it so get as in conseguir we'll practice uh we'll practice with a few questions here did you get the last rolling stones album yes i got the last rolling stones album did you get a lot of emails yesterday yes i got a lot of emails yesterday how many emails did you get I got 15 emails yesterday. Did you, did you get the letter I sent? Yes, I got the letter you sent. Did you get the books for this course? 
this 4.0 course, did you get the books? I hope so. I hope you got the books. Did you get the point? Now, to get the point, ooh, what does that mean? That means to understand, to get the point, to really understand what the person is saying. Did you get the point? Hmm. Did you get the point of what the teacher said? Yes, I got the point of what the teacher said. Did you get anything for Christmas last year? Yes, I got something for Christmas. Did you get a book last year? Yes, I got a book last year. Did they get a new car in the end? Yes, they got a new car in the end. In the end. Al final. In the end. Okay. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is now time to move on to our vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. Number one. Esclavo. Esclavo. Slave. Slave. Perder tiempo. Malgastar. To waste time. To waste time. We only have 30 seconds. We can't waste time. We can't waste time. O sea, en otras palabras. In English we say, in other words. In other words. Consideración. Thoughtfulness. Thoughtfulness. Thank you for being so thoughtful. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Un inconveniente. A drawback. A drawback. Yes, it's a drawback of the situation. A drawback of being in Spain, for me, a drawback is that I don't get to see my family very often. It's a drawback for me. Anyhow, we have seen our five words of vocabulary. And we have another point left, but we are going to have to leave that for tomorrow because we are out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, I would love to continue, but I have to go. They're telling me, Kyle, you have to stop the program. We are out of time. So we will stop now, but I'll be back tomorrow for more. We will review. We will practice manage to plus infinitive and so much more. See you then. Bye-bye.